Hi guys, I am in Croatia right now. We just got here and I'm here on a family trip together with my uh, parents and my sister. And I think today we're just gonna go do some sightseeing and for dinner we're gonna go eat some seafood. I'm so excited. One thing that I'm worried about though, I completely forgot to bring my mic. So I think I'll just have to do a voiceover or some subtitles, but we'll see. <laughs> We are on our way to get a beer at the beach. Oh, and I think I can see it. There's palm trees and just the colors of the stones are so nice. And my sister is here. We are enjoying the weather so much and literally like all the houses made of stone they're so pretty i think we almost made it to our dinner reservation called konoba fed tv for seafood we started with some bread and olive oil and we were all surprised at how good it was we thought that it would just be some random bread that they leave on the table but the bread had a really good crust and was moist on the inside and the olive oil was very flavorful Actually, I visited Split in 2016 and I had such good memories of the seafood here. I was kind of afraid that it wouldn't be as good as I remember it, but honestly, I worried for nothing. We started off with some fried small fish, which was perfectly seasoned and there was quite a lot of meat on the bones actually. Of course, I made sure there was none left once we were done. For our mains, we shared a steak, a mixed platter of grilled fish and a squid ink risotto. We really liked trying the different types of grilled fish. I'm sure they told us what kind of fish they were, but I completely forgot, but they were all so juicy and soft like butter. The risotto had a very nice subtle flavor from the squid ink with lots of bits of squid in it as well, but honestly we couldn't help going back to the fish platter. We actually forgot about our steak until we were halfway done. And yes, it was cooked perfectly to our liking and very flavorful, but if I'm being honest, we could have skipped the steak. The grilled fish was definitely the highlight of our meal. I mean, it was just so soft. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, after dinner, we just came back home and slept pretty soon after that because we were so tired. Um, but dinner was so good. I mean, we all were saying that it was like the softest fish we've ever had. It was so good. And right now it is 7.20 and we're about to head out. Gonna grab some coffee first and we have to be at this meeting point by 8.15 because we're gonna go do a tour of the Kaka National Park. But first, let's head out for coffee. You may think my sister is acting crazy for the vlog, but no, this is just her in her natural state. <laughs> I have to live with this. Look at all these roku. <sighs> oh wow, this is cool. So we just had coffee, it was amazing, and we're meeting now for the tour. And we're at in front of the statue, it's so pretty. We got on a boat from the national park and we came to this really small little town called Skraden and we just ordered lunch in the national park. I'm so sad that it just doesn't look as good on the camera because in real life it's breathtaking, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Our meal started with some bread again, and this time with some olives. And just like yesterday, the bread was really good. 
Our guide recommended some traditional dishes, so we got an octopus salad, a dish called pasticciata, which is a beef stew served with the Croatian version of gnocchi, and we also got a seafood soup and some stewed greens with potato on the side. The greens were soft and had a very subtle flavor, which we loved, and the beef in the pasticciata was so tender and the sauce very savory, perfect to dip our bread in or to eat with the gnocchi, which had an amazing texture. Our favorite dish though was the octopus salad, and honestly, I could probably talk about this salad for hours. That's how good it was. It was refreshing, the octopus was cooked perfectly, and the different textures of the chickpeas and the vegetables was just so good. Once we finished our meal, we went to the wine tasting. I didn't film much because we were with all the people from our tour and I didn't really want to shove my camera in their face, but we got to try four wines made of Croatian grapes and some cold cuts and cheese. The cheese was very young, made of both goat and cow milk, and because it was so young, it didn't have a very strong flavor and was very easy to eat. Back in Split, we got some gelato from Gelateria Emiliana. After spending the whole day walking through the park and traveling by bus, I was craving something sweet and this was the perfect snack. That ice cream was so good. We were actually planning on just getting one scoop or one flavor, but there were so many flavors that sounded really good. So we got one that's lemon lavender. The other one was ricotta, ricotta fig and another was peach and rose. I think my favorite was the lemon lavender. Um, we came home and got changed and right now we're getting ready to leave. Ooh, oh no, I sat on this cushion thing and it was still wet from the rain. This restaurant is owned by a family and I'm not sure if that is why, but it had a very cozy and homey ambiance. We wanted to try more traditional dishes, so we got a dish made of preserved sour tuna, which seemed to be braised with onions, raisins, and lemon, and it was served cold in a dressing of some olive oil and vinegar. The tuna was firm but not dry, and it was such a good combination of sour and sweet. The texture was very meaty, and we were not sure what to expect, but we all really enjoyed it. Besides that, we were so impressed by the octopus salad from lunch that we ordered it again for dinner. This one had more chickpeas and a balsamic dressing, whereas for lunch I think it was a lemon juice dressing, but it was just as good. There's something about the plump pieces of octopus that is just so addicting. For our main, we got a giant seafood stew with monkfish, squid, and some other fish that I can't remember to name of, but it's served in this giant pot, so it's nice to share with a larger group. It was a little bland for our liking, so we added some salt, but it was such a nice hearty stew to share. All the different fish had a different texture, so it kind of felt like a little surprise with every bite. I'm also a sucker for potatoes, and a stew is not complete without potatoes in my opinion, so I really like the stew. Good morning. We are going to this park that's next to our Airbnb. Uh, and we were packing lunch and we actually really wanted to fry some eggs but the induction stove wasn't working so we just used the, the toasty, the grilled cheese maker and it worked out perfectly actually, I think it looks really good <laughs> This park, it's so beautiful and you're like walking uphill so the, the views are really pretty. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a dog! Hello! <laughs> um. Okay, oh! We are trying to find a beach and I think we found it. Wow! <sighs> Guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get in the water. We found it. The water, it looks so good. Pizza, but we were 
still not sick of Croatian food, so we've come to eat Croatian food one last time for dinner. I know this sounds ridiculous, but we got another octopus salad. Don't judge us, but we love trying all the different variations. But I think my favorite was the first one that we had for lunch in Scrotton. That doesn't mean I didn't like this one, of course, but this one had a lot of lettuce and tomatoes, whereas the other ones seemed more balanced with more ingredients like olives and chickpeas. We still made sure we finished it before our grilled squid and fish came out, or it might have been called a fish, which I'm not sure, but all I know is that it was so tender and we absolutely loved it. This was actually a random restaurant we went to because most other places seemed to be closed that day, so we didn't know what to expect, but as with all our other meals, the seafood was amazing. It's grilled over charcoal, so it had a really nice smoky flavor. But the pasticciata, however, was disappointing. The beef was slightly dry and the gnocchi overcooked, but it's okay because the seafood made up for it. After dinner, I wanted to get gelato one last time, so we went back to Gelateria Emiliana. This time I went for salty peanut, which if you love salty peanut butter, this is heaven. It's super rich and creamy and exactly what I was craving at the time. And with my ice cream in hand, we walked back to our Airbnb and opened the bottle of wine we bought from the wine tasting the previous day before we got ready for bed. Cheers! Cheers! Mm. 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 Good morning. It is our last morning here in Split. We're actually leaving today in a couple of hours. Um, we're frying up some eggs in the grilled cheese toasty maker again as our last breakfast. And then we're gonna head out to the airport. Um, birds being very loud. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog despite the audio issues. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!